What's up kings and queens? It's your girl Vazi and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be talking about self-love and self-care. But before we jump into this video, if you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, cut on your bell notifications to keep up with all of our future videos. You guys, we are at 89 subscribers. We are almost to our first goal of 100 subscribers. And I know to some people that's like whatever but to us it means so so much to have you guys subscribe to our channel and follow along with us in our journey all right so i had to get a car in her room because that's where i'm at right now and she was a little jealous that i was in here recording and she wasn't able to come in here and anyways like i was saying so we are at 89 subscribers we are on our way to 100 subscribers and that was our very first goal when we created this youtube channel as we are new it is so so appreciative from us so if you haven't joined the family please go ahead and do that right now go ahead click that subscribe button cut on those bell notifications to keep up with us all right so today's video like i said is going to be about self-care and self-love but first i want to start um also you guys i have a couple notes in my phone that i want to make sure i make points about the kid in the background Anyway, so I have um, a couple notes on my phone, so if you see me looking at my phone, you know what I'm saying, please know that my attention is fully on you guys because there are notes about this video that I want to make sure I address. <laughs> um, so the first thing I want to go ahead and say is self-love is the main key to living your best life, okay? And then no one can love you like you love yourself. No one has the ability to love you at your full potential the way that you have inside yourself to love yourself at your fullest potential and then third point I want to point out before jumping into this fully is that you are not able to love someone fully until you have loved yourself fully okay so point number one self-love is the main key to living your best life point number two can't nobody love you the way that you can love yourself and point number three you are not able to fully love someone else without loving yourself fully first so how do you fully love yourself? A lot of people are, will ask, how do I get back to loving myself the way I used to love myself? Or how do I even get to that place of loving myself fully in the first place? So first tip is to make peace with your past. And when I say this, I mean to make peace with past insecurities, um, negative people and things that were in your life, any type of abuse that you have dealt with, you have to make peace with that. In order to move forward, whatever has caused your insecurities to brew with inside of you and to cause you to not really you know be confident you have to get completely rid of it because you can't move forward holding on to old baggage right so point number two into learning how to fully love yourself is to not care about how people think because if you really think about it how somebody feels or thinks about you really isn't your business because if someone is being very aggressive or angry or mean or just doesn't have a reason to like you and just don't like you then there's something with, within that person that needs to be corrected and fixed because it is some self issues going on okay like it has absolutely nothing to do with you it is them so at the end of the day why worry about how they feel about you when it's something that's wrong with them that is causing them to not like you see where I'm going with that yeah so point number two just don't even care about how someone feels or thinks about you okay so next point I want to make is that you have to know that time heals everything so within this time of you learning how to love yourself it is really going to take some time and you just have to learn to trust the process do not give up do not think that it's not working because if you take these steps and if you really reevaluate your life and get rid of all negative things and surround yourself with positive things then it's bound to happen you are bound to find yourself again and you are bound to love yourself more than ever before for. but you have to know that it definitely takes time and trust me the process is worth it okay number four do not compare yourself or your life to others and this is one of the most important points I could make because social media nowadays has so many images of women especially being very curvaceous and you know flawless and all these great things but in reality a lot of the social influencers that we see a lot of the models that we see 
are actually making alterations to their bodies to make themselves feel as great as they want to feel and there's absolutely no problem with that but what I'm saying is if you're living in an authentic life you haven't altered your body in any kind of way and you're looking at someone who has altered their body and you're comparing yourself to them you're going to make your insecurities worse because at the end of the day you can't compare something that is authentic to something that was created so stop comparing yourself to people in the live their lives because also you never know what someone has to go through to get to that point in their life so when i say that Someone could be living their best life and you're seeing it and you're like, uh, I want to have that life. Like, I want to live my best life. Well, honestly, you don't know what that person went through. You don't know the obstacles that they had to overcome. You don't know the insecurities that they went through. You don't know the abuse that they went through. You don't know what it is that these people went through in order to get to their happy place. So never envy. Like, don't be jealous of someone's figure. Don't be jealous of someone's life. Just live your life to the best of your ability and love yourself wholeheartedly. And at the end of the day, you will be living your best life. There's no way you can't live your best life if you don't love yourself fully. Because once you love yourself fully, you're going to take the necessary steps to make sure that your, your life is exactly how you want it to be. The last point I want to make is that you are in charge of your happiness. I can't stress this enough. Like, live your best life by all means necessary. Because if you make if you make it up, if you make up in your mind that you're gonna be completely happy every day and wake up with that mindset and put forth the effort, it's gonna happen. It's just gonna fall into place. And then you're gonna live your best life. Like you are totally in charge of your happiness. So don't do things to make you sad, depressed, and angry. Do things to make you happy, excited, and vibrant, you know? So with learning how to love yourself, you have to learn how to take care of yourself, right? So in order to take care of self, first thing I would do is I wake up in the morning, take time to reflect. Go ahead, set yourself up for the day in a positive way. I am beautiful, I am smart, I am loving, I am caring, I am awesome at everything that I do, and live your day that way. So make sure you take charge of your day. Wake up, reflect, and take charge of your day. Live your day fearlessly every day. That's kind of rolling into my next point make sure you conquer every day fearlessly wake up and know that you are that queen okay and go ahead and execute your day I don't care if you feel like crap because you're sick wake up and make yourself look very beautiful and conquer your day no matter what like make it happen sis okay third point I want to make out is that you have to make time for yourself now as a mommy with three kids it is hard <laughs> But I will say that there are things that I can do with the kids that still feels like me time when I'm not feeling stressed or drained by any means necessary. And by doing this, I mean, we can sit down and we can color together. We can read a book together. We can have silent time where they're reading a book, I'm reading a book, or where they're coloring and I'm coloring or doodling or whatever. But... If you don't have kids, the best way, um, it, it just applies to people who have kids as well, don't get me wrong, but a way to make time for self is to simply read a book, journal, pamper yourself, go get that mani and petty that you've been stalling on getting, go get your hair done, you know what I'm saying, go get your makeup done if you feel that, you know, and then shop, I mean... Who don't love shopping? I ain't saying go out there and shop if you ain't got it. But if you got it, go out there and get that purse that you've been wanting. Go out there and get those jeans. Go out there and get that jacket. That, you know, those shoes. Whatever it is that you were feeling like you need. Go get it, girl. Go get it. It is yours already anyway. You just got to go pick it up. <laughs> and another thing I would say is to exercise. When you're exercising, that's plenty of me time. I can tell you that right now. I can even exercise with the kids and feel like I'm just having me time. And then after exercising, you feel so great about yourself right you feel like you've actually conquered something and done something so go do it get up go exercise a little bit it's gonna make you feel great regardless so after you exercise and you already feel great just keep being great 
you know? Another thing is to surround yourself with positive people and things. You have to make sure that your life is lined up in a positive way, that positive people are surrounding you, positive things are surrounding you, so that you can move on in a positive manner and live a positive life. That's living your best life. Last thing I want to say is to wear things that make you feel confident. Ladies, I know you know, once you put on that outfit and you feel like the baddest person walking around, can't nobody tell you no different, right? Do it every day. I mean every day. It ain't even got to be super dressy, but make sure what you wear compliments you and how you feel and then you have no choice but to feel great, you know what I'm saying? Like make sure that top fits how you want it to fit, those pants fit how you want them to fit, put on those nice shoes that you just bought, go on throw in your hoops or your studs or your little dangles, your feathers, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And do your hair, your makeup if you please, and then go out live your best life take a couple selfies you know what i'm saying even if you don't want to post them keep them because at that time you deserve it okay you deserve it at all times but you just have to continue to remind yourself that you are you are beautiful you're amazing you're authentic there's only one you in this world there's no one that can be you so why not be the best you Duh. <laughs> I really just wanted to drop some knowledge for you guys on self-care and self-love. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Like I said before, we are on our way to 100 subscribers, so if you haven't already, go ahead and click that button, turn on your bell notifications. We have so much more content to be dropping, and we want to thank all of our subscribers that are currently subscribed to our channel. You guys give us the push to keep putting out content, and also, if there's anything that you want to see come from us, go ahead, drop it in the comments below, because we are more than happy to please you guys. So that's it for this video. Until the next one, peace. Situations. Why are you keeping?